and disagreements that we're having here in the studio. Kirinyaga Governor Anwai Guru wants President Uru Kenyatta to mend fences with Deputy President William Ruto. This is what she had to say. She wants a handshake between those two. Watch. Sisi tunakuomba kwa heshima. Miezi nne ambayo imebaki. Wewe tafadhali fanya handshake na William Samoei Ruto. Ndio hawa watu wasikuwa upande mmoja na wewe upande mwingine ukienda nyumbani mwezi wa nane. Kwa sababu hautafuti kiti tena. Tunakuomba umsalimie ndio uende nyumbani na heshima yako. Sisi tunakuomba mheshimiwa rais. Hao watu ambao wamekuzingira na kuomba uwabadilishe. Kwa sababu hao ndio wanakupoteza njia. Kukwambia uwekelee William Samoei Ruto maneno ati ndio achukiwe na watu wa Mount Kenya hao watu hawabadiliki Sankok is it time for a handshake between President Uru Kenyatta and <coughs> William Ruto I respect what I go have said but uh, I find it not attainable because Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta have betrayed the 8 million uh, supporters of Jubilee who woke up and came out as Turaku to vote for him. He did not find any of them suitable to be a flag bearer of Jubilee in the presidential election. Instead, went to rent or hire the opponent in which the Durakus came out to vote against. Um, and again, uh, the, the president have used all state machineries to intimidate all of those who supported him. If you go to the National Assembly, leadership positions, all those who supported him have been dewipped, including ourselves. I was dewipped from the National Coalition and Equal Opportunities Committee, in which I was there just to represent persons with disability who don't get equal opportunities with all of us. Uh, the president even have gone to an extent of backbiting us in state house <laughs> and telling lies that we wanted to impeach him. Let me tell you, Trevor, for any impeachment motion to be prosecuted, it is through members of parliament. And I am a close ally to the deputy president. I can say in front of God and in front of men that at no single time did we ever even discuss even thought, it never crossed our mind that we can impeach the president whom we elected four times. Okay. In 2002, 2013, and 2017, twice, after the, the uh, uh, null, null, null of the election. Trevor, you know, when today I discuss about you using my mother tongue, Let's assume there was a massa here, and we are discussing you. And I'm discussing you using my mother tongue. I'm backbiting you. We want to tell the president, please, if you are talking about us, members of parliament who wanted to impeach you, purported, who wanted to impeach you, and some of us don't come from your tribe, come out in a national language and talk to us in a language that we understand. You don't have to go and look for a translation. What was he saying? In our sacred ground of state house. Okay. You know, uh, Trevor, I think uh, the issue of the handshake. Yes, as a UDA, we are willing to work with every Kenyan. We still have some unfinished business in Jubilee, like the Big Four agenda, whom we, which we want to make sure that we see to the end of it. Uh, we still have unfinished agenda in terms of electricity connectivity, which we wanted to be 100%. Yeah. We still wanted the technical institute to be there so that we can have plumbers, carpenters, and electricians also being uh, in our market because yeah. at the moment we import even uh, furnitures from other countries. And so, uh, so uh, we still have unfinished businesses with Jubilee. Okay. So if it is the issue of handshake, of course, I'll not talk on behalf of my, my new party leader, that is uh, uh, William Samoy Arapruto, but. Uh, uh, we, 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 we invite all Kenyans. We can okay. even have a handshake with Jared Okello here okay. so that we can achieve what we want 
the bottom up economic model, mm -hmm. we can even uplift the life of the lower people in the economic pyramid from its constituents. Okay. Elachi, is it time for a handshake between the two principles, former principles, so to speak? You see, first of all, I just want to say, you know, when you look at this whole process and where we've come from and where we are, I think both leaders will look and ask different questions. I don't want to say that um, it's time for handshake or no handshake. I think in the beginning they started with a handshake for them to come to where they were. Sometimes I know I always speak forever and people might think, I lie to you now, you. sometimes you tell us funny things. But uh, I always look at things dif in two ways. I look at things the way us human will feel emotional. I look at things also spiritually. Uh, there are many questions we need to ask ourselves spiritually. If indeed, uh, and I know my Uda brothers are the most spiritual people in the country, and so they have to be looking at things spiritually sometimes we don't and, ask, and, uh, and ask yeah. themselves a few questions. Now, let me look at an impeachment process. Yeah. So you come, you take honorable members. Whenever I have an agenda, you ensure that agenda does not work. You make sure I am ridiculed and uh, you move on, you feel it's okay. When I come and I ask for anything, everyone is just sabotaging me. I don't know what type of an impeachment are you waiting for. I've already impeached you at that level because you are unable to move and do your duties. Number two is that then you, you, you continue. Sometimes I always say, now in the spiritual way, there's, there, there's need of tolerance. When you feel you have moved and all of you are just getting here, yeah. there's need of tolerance and, and, and now shifting a bit, shifting a bit, if there's respect in it. And so you go and in the most unfortunate thing, you now go to the backyard of your leader or your friend or whoever you called your brother or whatever. And there you stand and now you say everything that you want to say. Yeah. So if who would have done the same. So where are we, will we, where would I, I mean, we look at that situation and you ask yourself, what is all that? A good person who feels, indeed I have walked a journey with you, you have disappointed me. The best you would have done is just to move so that people can judge this other leader okay. who is doing wrong, isn't it? But you haven't done that. You have continued poking, you have continued pushing, you have made sure even his own community becomes also, uh, you know, have anger, can see him, he's a bad leader, he's everything. Yet him, he has never provoked you to your community. He has never gone and said anything, regardless of all this. The other thing is that people have been saying, oh, the president, what happened? Tell us. Yeah. Now, the president has come out. He has said he has become the bad one again. But you wanted to hear what happened. Yeah. He is now coming out and saying, this is what happened. And if indeed Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta is lying on whatever he's saying, then he should know there is a God in heaven. Okay. But if indeed also my deputy president is lying, yeah. He should know there is a God in heaven. Both of them, when they came, they used to say, Ni Maombi. Yeah. Si uchawi. Si uchawi. Si uchawi. Okay. And I want them to remember that. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. So when God is now revealing, and the other thing, that's why I want to look at it spiritually now. When we started this journey in 2013, we must ask ourselves critical questions. What is this that we didn't do right for this package? Yeah. That God has come at this hour, at this time, to say, indeed, I have to now open up this bangle because you did not do it rightfully and you must accept we did not do it rightfully. Okay. We just packaged for us to become leaders. Okay. For the right honorable Raila Omoloding, you might hate him, you might love him. But today I want to say this spiritually. It is his season, his time that God has given. Okay. You will hate me, you will say I'm crazy, but one day you'll realize. And when it's your season, you don't struggle. Okay. Honorable Kelo, as we wind up on this conversation, is it time for a handshake? 
the way my guru is suggesting. This is, this is going to be the second one now. Right. Thank you. Thank you. F firstly, uh, it is good to underscore that I'm a Christian. And that is where I derive my gentlemanly man. And if you read the book of Exodus 27, 20, uh, chapters 20, verses 7, it says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord God in vain. Yeah. So let me hope, sometimes against hope, that Uda's consistent uh, propagation of uh, the name God yeah, is not in vain. Let me just hope, sometimes against hope. Yeah. But uh, le let me tell you, the rabbi is just about to hit the road. And the Uda camp is coming to the realization that Uhuru Kenyatta is very key in these next elections. When the shoe is on a different foot, then it becomes different. Uh, today, they can now talk about handshake between Uhuru Kenyatta and William Samuel Ruto. The same handshake that occurred on the 18th day of March 20, uh, 2018 between Raila Odinga and uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, it was so bad. In the eyes of uh, now Uda Adherents, it was such a bad thing that ever happened to this country. But now that elections are coming up in four months' time, they are now saying, by the way, we also need a handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and William Samoe Ruto. Remember, this is the same camp that said that even if Dr. Burudinga will be made the chairperson of electoral umpire, they will still carry the day. Now, Uburu is yet to be made the electoral you know, umpire, and they are crying on top of their voices, asking for a handshake. But again, first things first they have consistently castigated the handshake. So they cannot turn around now and say handshake is a good thing. Secondly, their party leader, uh, uh, William Samoy Ruto, has consistently fought this handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. You know, calling Raila all sorts of names, even though they invoke the name of God, but still call him all sorts of names, which we may not want to go into uh, at this moment. Remember, the handshake had a reason, and it was to bring about peace after two divisive presidential elections in the year 2017. And that peace was hailed not just locally, but even the international community. So it was the best thing to have happened to the Republic of Kenya. And those who have fought it ever now are saying, we also need a handshake at the tail end of President Uhuru Kenyatta's term. Remember when this handshake did occur, Right Honorable Raila Mulodinga never asked for any position in government, and neither did he ask for positions to go to his cronies. He left Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto to run the affairs of their government, devoid of interference from any quarters. And for the first time in the history of this country, we in the opposition chose to tone down our rhetorics for the welfare of this country and to give President Uhuru Kenyatta and William Samoe Ruto time to run their government unperturbed. Today, they are also uh, seeking to have uh, some handshake. President Uhuru Kenyatta has consistently said yeah. that through the handshake between him and Raila Odinga, they have achieved much more than they ever did in the year 2013. And these are matters of fact. Okay. And when President Uhuru Kenyatta says corruption has also be st been stemmed to a degree because you cannot fully eradicate corruption within our current systems. You remember Uhuru has said we still lose two billion shillings daily yeah. uh, to corruption. So it is something that will uh, take a bit of time. Okay. But when the president comes out to say that, uh, and this was reported, though he has not personally uh, come out to say this, but we have seen the rebuttals from pres deputy president on the alleged uh, impeachment motion yeah. that was to be conducted by uh, William Ruto and company. You know, one thing that we have to realize is that 
Ruto can you know, deny as much as he wants. But remember, this is the same president that benefits from the NIS. He has a lot of intelligence about everybody, yeah. including things that happen in darkness. He's being briefed on a daily basis. And Uru Kenyatta, from the records, is not a madman. He's a man of sane mind. Okay. And when he says, my deputy wanted me thrown out of government. That cannot be conjecture. Okay. okay. Uh, we, are, we have to leave it there, General. Factual. Because your time, we are running out of time. Just, just. And I have to take a quick commercial just. break. This is commercial, so this precision. Okay. One, 30 seconds. Yes. Uh, when he talk about Uhuru, not a madman, for claiming that he was uh, supposedly supposed to be impeached, now you want to say that Raila is a madman because he said he have no clue of that, and Ruto is a madman because he said... Where is Raila coming in this? Said, Where is Raila coming in? Let me in? tell you, because uh, <laughs> she has introduced, uh, introduced the issue of being spiritual. I would like to ask my president to read Proverbs 19.9. 9. Okay. All false witness will not go unpunished. Okay. And that mouth that <laughs> breathes uh, lies will perish. Right. And again, Reva, in Exodus, one second, allow me to Exodus say this. Exodus 2016. Yeah. In Exodus 2016, because you gave the one of the Ten Commandments, yeah. I also give the Ninth Commandment. <laughs> that thou shall not Reva, bear can you false give me just ten seconds? Yes, ten seconds. <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta knows Ruto better than all of us. They have been in this journey since 1997. <laughs> okay. I cannot claim today that I know Ruto to, uh, who can be the best president in the, in the minds of those who are aligned to his persuasion, yeah. than President Uru Kenyatta has known him for three decades. Okay. And he's saying this is a wrong one. Okay. Go bab away. Okay, let you ten seconds. Who is your baba? Uh, I think I know no, your no, father, no. my friend. <laughs> Sangok, let's, no, no, let's Sangok, let's Sangok, Sangok has read the verses. Yes. I need his leader also to read the same verses. <laughs> okay, let, that's why we leave it for now. Let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, it's time for health and lifestyle. There are Willis Bazura Buru is on the decks in just a bit. Frederick Okango from that World Alliance says, our country. If you read the UDA script by their agents, it's all about disagreement. It's about pitting faction against faction and division. The hero is the man who stands up to the mob, not the mob itself. All right, that's where we leave it for now.